guys <laughs> welcome to my channel and if you're new and you're just joining me welcome thank you for stopping by don't forget to subscribe thumbs up or leave me a comment let me know if you like it if you don't like this video let me know I'm open to learning so yeah so I wanted to really get into your kind of spending habits a bit and I want you guys to leave comments and let me know have you been to forever 21 lately yeah I have okay so who out there is not 21 but still goes to forever 21 okay <laughs> pretty interesting do you think that if you're 35 years or older you should not be wearing clothing items from forever 21 Nah, <laughs> I don't think so. As I have said from one of my previous videos, I like Forever 21 and at least in the past, but Forever 21 was getting too expensive compared to the quality of items that it was still producing. So I had decided since about a year and a half or two years ago I think I'll have to go and check my video and I'll leave it somewhere up here for you to check it out as well I had decided that I will not be shopping at Forever 21 anymore because it's too expensive and they have not improved on their quality but it is spring it is the season when lots of people are out there, you're going on dates, it's fun, it's been a long and terrible winter. Guys, it's been a long and terrible winter. Should I repeat that? Okay, if you're in the Caribbean, like, like where I'm from, I know you don't understand. But, oh my God, it has been terribly cold and long. And I was getting so tired, so fed up. So it's great to see spring finally peeking out. Yes, I have spoken spring into existence and it's here. And I am rejoicing. I'm bringing out my colors. I'm bringing out my patterns because anyone who knows me I am a combination of different styles I don't confine myself to one style I am boho I am boho chic I am retro I am classic I am I am all over the whole fashion industry I just go in like I just go in and grab whatever I want and I just wear it because that's me so with that said if you're over 40 and you have been into forever 21 lately I don't blame you what I did was I googled date dresses and because I am excited about spring and summer and dating and everything related to summer, I grabbed these pieces. So I have a couple of dresses that I want to show you. And of course, because I have just done the cutaway for this piece I kept it on this is the first piece here guys it's this gorgeous red polka dot yes I love polka dot as I have told you from my Zara haul I love polka dots this with frills 
and it's red. It's the perfect piece for a date. It's definitely a statement your date cannot miss you in this piece. So I love it. I love the flirtiness of the frills. I love the big dots. I love the color. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So here's what it looks like and here's how I pair it. It's really, really a great piece for a date night. I can't wait till I get you on the floor, good looking. Uh, hey, going out so hot, just like you love it. And I don't want to burn myself, I just had to touch it. But it's so fine, and it's so fine. Hey, baby, and we don't mind all the watching. Hi, cause if the study goes real close, they might learn something. She ain't nothing but a little doozy when she does it. She's so fine tonight. The second piece is, and as you can see, I have more polka dots. Should I show you all of the polka dots now? Nah. So the second piece is this floral black piece. It's also a wrap dress. And you guys know how flattering wrap dresses are. All of these pieces that I'm going to show you, they are all wrap dresses. As you've just seen from the cutaway for this piece, this is also a, a wrap piece. And I love, for some reason, I love the floral pattern. It's, it's very, it's, I, I love it for some reason. I thought I wouldn't. But when I tried it on, despite the fact that it gapes a bit in the front here, so you definitely have to pair it with a camisole top. But not just any camisole. You have to make sure that it has some lace going on and that it is definitely capturing some of the color scheme or the color palette that is on the dress. So this is how I pair it guys. Trouble, you just got good jeans, so a nigga trying to cuff you. Definitely a really great piece. I love it. It might look too short, but one of the things that you can do to make it appear less short is to pair it with a black opaque tights as well as over the knee boot so it doesn't appear to be that short but to each their own alternatively you can pair it in the summer when it's really hot you can pair it with your favorite stilettos you can pair it with something strappy or gladiator a high gladiator sandal would definitely look fabulous with it but I am not in summer yet, so maybe I'll definitely do a summer look for these pieces. But for now, this is how I've been pairing them. And I just love the way they look with my Stuart Wiseman boots and my Sam Edelman boots. So I love, love, love the way they look. The third item is of course as i said it's another polka dot and this is in a salmon nude color with the black dots as you can see and it is also very flirty it's also wrapped as i just mentioned and all of the items they all have the same details of frills and short it's essentially the same style because I like this style it's very flattering on me so I stick to what I know I just don't waste time buying stuff that I 
don't think would look as flattering on me. So yeah, this is how I style it. And there it is, guys. 
those are my pieces I think they're really great flattering pieces for the summer and spring for date nights very flirty pieces you'll definitely be asked for a second date if it's your first date <laughs> I absolutely love them and I am not a huge fan of Forever 21. So for me to be doing this haul, I am somewhat impressed by them because the quality is a little bit better and the prices are still up there. Like most of these items I think cost like $60 or I think one, I think this piece cost $60.